and Judith. December is German month on the European Literature Network website and as part of that I'm going to be making these daily videos telling you about a German book, one each day, that I think is worth reading. And I'm going to be doing this via my advent calendar here, my lovely homemade advent calendar. And uh, on the back of every decoration is the name of the German book. Um, so let's start with number one, it's the 1st of December. We've got uh, Austerlitz by W.G. Siebald. Uh, this novel here, it's the same title in English and in German. It was published in 2001. And it's a wonderful, haunting book uh, about a man called Jacques Austerlitz who came to the UK on the Kinder Transport in 1939. And he grew up in Wales and went to Oxford and became an architectural historian. And gradually he finds out more and more about his parents back in Prague and his origins. Um, but we only learn about his story in bits and pieces. He, he's telling his story to the narrator, who then passes it on to us, very sporadically and in a very fragmented way. And it leaves us with lots of questions uh, about Jacques, who is this person, what is his story, but also more broadly, what makes us who we are. Uh, it's a book that's known for its long, complex sentences. There's one that's several pages long, but it is very readable, and it's broken up with photos and images, which makes it particularly interesting. Another interesting fact is that uh, Zebald very sadly died very shortly after uh, writing the book. Uh, it was his final work, he was only 57, uh, and he died in a car, car crash near his home in Norwich. Um, this book was translated in the same year, 2001, by Anthea Bell, and it's very easily available in English translation. So, have a great day, and I hope you'll join me back here tomorrow for day two.